Welcome to this new video where I want to talk about the Emotion UI 12 that landed now on several smartphones like the Mate 40 series, the P40 series. More and more smartphones are getting it. If you don't have it yet, try to go to your settings, refresh and check for updates under software update and then you get Emotion UI 12. I want to do a short Emotion UI 12 tips and tricks video. So let's get started. So this is Emotion UI 12. As you can see here, I have version 12.00.218 running here currently. This is the version I will show you this on. And of course, this also not work for older devices, but also devices like the Huawei Nova 9 that already ships with Emotion UI 12 and probably later on the P50 Pocket and P50 Pro as well. So most of those trips and tricks are not only Emotion UI 12 based, but also can work on Harman US too. So if you have a Chinese imported device, you can also have them working on Emotion UI 12. The first thing I want to work on is uh, actually go back to settings and, uh, oops, I go back to settings then. This list of settings, it's a tab to scroll up. So sometimes you are at the bottom somewhere of a page and you just want to scroll up. What you can do on Emotion 12, Harmony S2, is just tap on the navigation pane that you usually have to go um, notifications or to go to your quick toggles. You just tap on it shortly. So I will show you this and you can see that it's scrolling up the whole list. And this is not only working for settings here, but it's also pretty convenient if you are working with um, other applications, just like, for example, mail, and you like in your emails and want to scroll up to the latest email that you have, you can just also tap here. It will scroll up automatically. Not only email is working, also the browser is working. So if you're reading some tips and tricks here uh, about uh, Emotion UI, Harmon US, uh, Huawei devices, and you're in the middle of the page, you want to go up, just simply press on the top and it will scroll up. This is working for most applications, which are applications uh, from Huawei itself, like the Huawei browser, a Huawei email, and uh, the settings app that I showed you, and several apps as well. So tap to scroll up. It's very, very useful and handy, and I really would wish that other applications will do the same thing or offer an easy way to do this as well. The next thing is AI search, which is a big, big thing. But I think with Emotion UI 12 and Harmon US, they optimize it a little bit more. So if I scroll down here, swipe down, I go into the search, AI search. So the first thing that I can do is like search stuff if I want to search stuff. So this is the possibility that I have here. You can see I have some suggestions like for example apple stocks I've, if i press search here it will search for the apple stocks will go into the web tab here and show me the apple stocks here it's using bing as default as search engine here but of course if i don't like microsoft bing i can change it and just let me go back to the main app click on this settings here go to settings go to advanced settings Go to search engine and here I have various different other search engines that I can use like uh, Quant, Paddle and Cessna. Uh, you cannot add your own here for now and Bing is the default one and I think Bing is best integrated here right now in AI search. This is why I keep it for now but I can't imagine also switching to Quant at one point as well. So let's go back here. Let's see what the page looks like. So besides the search suggestions, we have the options for search scopes, which allows us to enter all the things that should be searched. Like for example, if I'm searching for a specific setting. So let me try to search for the Flickr setting. So search for Flickr, you can see Flickr reduction. It found it in settings already. It's searching also other things like for example, the app gallery or some shopping results. I can also search the web, which will bring me web results from Bing. Or I can search more stuff like here, for example, it is searching my emails as well. But if I found it, I can just click on it. It will go directly in here to the setting, to the right setting, which is also pretty nice and handy. So this is the possibility you can search for stuff. But on the main page, you have also some suggested applications, just like, for example, here, the browser settings app 
IKEA, Trivago, Hume, Email App, and some others. So those are like accumulated. You can, of course, just turn them off or make them like bigger, just the way you like it. You have your search history here, like I searched for Flickr and I searched for Apple uh, stocks. And I have some advertisements here as well. Like in this case, it is um, advertisement for Nike. Uh, they have some sale outs right now, discounts. I have most searched apps widget here. So I have the option to just simply install some applications if I want to, some suggestions as well. If I don't like this, I can of course go into my settings and just disable it, it's like suggested apps, top searches, search history. Uh, I can go into search scopes where I can disable searches that should um, appear like Huawei ability or something like this. I can add widgets to the home screen, but yeah, so this is everything configurable. And uh, yeah, here you can even leave a comment for AI search, for example. Then you have like top searches right now on AI search, which are interesting, like Australian Open, what happened to Novak Djokovic. Uh, top selling here. Uh, also, if you want to uh, sell something like before Christmas or I think Chinese New Year is coming up right now. So you can see what are the top searches now, what are people uh, buying uh, or what is top selling right now. So this is possible. I see some other things here. They can just click away if I don't like those ads here. Oops, if I don't like those ads. Uh, and then I have trending news, which is also interesting. So I get a nice, interesting news here. And uh, yeah, I can click on them to read them as well. Then of course I have the searchability itself. So I can search for various different things. So we saw already the stock search that is really, really cool that you can do here, but you can of course search for emails that you have somewhere. Like for example, I can search for tip 24 and I can say, I want to search on my device and then it will go and only search on my device. And I can see emails now with tip 24. So if I want to play the lottery and win something, um, yeah, I could do it here. Uh, then of course I have various categories here I can search for. So uh, let me search for something uh, else. Like for example, here I want to know how to translate this German text into Chinese. I can click on web search and Bing is so uh, intelligent that it gives me the results here. And as you can see here, I have nice little German to Chinese and I can even like, click on here for it to read it to me. Uh, or I can change the text here and change it to something else. Or I can use the microphone to uh, give an input. But I also have other things, like I can search for videos. Like I know I heard there's a nice little movie called uh, Weathering With You, nice anime movie by Makoto Shinkai. I can go to videos here and it will give me results on this. I can search in app, it's now using the Huawei app. If I click on this, it's using the Huawei video app and yeah, this one has, of course, also a bit of advertisement, but uh, then it will jump into this here and it can purchase it via Rakuten TV. You can see the trailer, you can buy it, you can like it. I already liked it and you can do other things here, share it as well if you want to. Uh, very nice movie, by the way. And of course, I can go back here. I can even go to shopping scope here, which gives me the option to shop for this one. I'm not sure if it finds this one here right now. Don't think it find, found this one here. I can go to music and I get like uh, music suggestions. Like for example, this one here, I can click on this one. It will take me to Huawei Music. And will, if you have a Huawei Music Premium account, it will directly start playing it back. And uh, yeah, this is pretty, pretty awesome what you can do. Let's go back here. And I will show you some other things that you can do, which are also pretty cool. If I don't want to search for music, let's let's go to all here. And I would search. Sometimes you have to calculate something quickly and you don't find the calculators. Just swipe down and type in what you want to do. Just like, for example, I don't know, 12% of uh, 345. I want to calculate this and uh, click on web here and it will then bring up the calculator here and it will tell me what 12% of uh, 345 are. So very, very easy. The same thing I can do like in uh, translating, I showed you already, but I can also say, okay, I heard this, what was it? Uh, some new Honor or Huawei device costs uh, 9,999 RMB. I want to know what is this in currency that I know. So what is this in Euro? And I can just type in uh, this and it will translate it to me in Euro. So I know, wow, 
the new what is it i think it's a uh huawei p50 pocket <laughs> i'm not sure i'm not sure if it's this one it's pretty cheap if you would buy it from china apparently and at least cheaper what they what the rumored price here is in europe anyway so this i can do but also like other things i watch sometimes uh, us um uh, US videos and they're talking about ounces or something like this like I don't know 34 ounces I know ounces is, uh, um, abbreviation is OZ and I can just simply oops, search here and it will tell me yeah how much uh, 34 ounces are it's like uh, almost one kilogram so oh, okay I know that's not so so heavy so those kinds of things are sometimes yeah very very handy of course you can just simply take your browser out and do the same in Google or whatever your favorite search engine is or you have like paddle search here and you can do pretty much the same thing depending on which which kind of uh, thing you have enabled but having it here uh, as AI search is I think pretty pretty handy as well so one may more and I think sometimes it's even faster if it's not fast enough and you have it reloading all the time so you can see here if I started it up it's like pretty instant instantaneously on my Mate 40 Pro um, but if you have it like problems, it's being killed in the background or something, you can just go out here and can go in here. And what you can do here is pin this app. You pin but just by dragging it down shortly. And then you can see there's a little icon that appeared here, uh, which says uh, I can uh, also click on this icon to, to disable it again. But this says keep this app, don't kill this app. So this will then be kept into this position, also kept in memory longer. So which allows you to do such things and have very quick and nice search. So this is a pretty cool thing here. I showed you like the basic overview of AI search. Really use it if you like to use it. It's a really good thing. So well, let's go back to um, music. So I have this music here. Of course, if I'm a premium man, I can download the music. I can like the music if I like to. I can share the song with Facebook or Twitter or something like this. Uh, but notice that there on Emotion i12 at least there's a little uh, option here maybe also in older versions but uh, with the new um, option here uh, on oops with the new option here on uh, Huawei Music uh, there's like the on option here as you can see usually probably it's off it's sound effects and you have various different sound effects that you can optimize your phone speaker first of all on featured you have sound effects hissing. You can go to settings if you want. You can turn on the sound effects and then you can use specific sound profiles that you might like. There's some AI profiles, but there's also like the Kirin profile that will optimize it for the Kirin processor. So if you have a Kirin processor, it will optimize it. Hi-Fi creates a natural surround sound effect. You have to try it out, what you really like here. Uh, sometimes they're quite good ones but what I really like is the headset option because I'm using the FreeBuds Pro and I want it to be optimized for my headset so I can use turn it on for the headset that it will use an optimized uh, profile for my headset I can use like earbuds if I have plug-in earbuds or something like this and I have some general stuff as well if you're not using Huawei devices but you have some brand customized options here as well some Huawei uh, devices even the Huawei eyewear is in here free free buds lipstick is in here so it will optimize the sound a little bit and the same goes for some on a uh, headphones as well and you can go to standard if you want to have like uh, yeah standard effects here and you can even add your own equalizing effect if you want to so this is pretty handy as well also a very cool feature especially if you like to listen to music who doesn't like to listen to music Another thing, another app that is uh, usually not regarded very well or not used very well is the My Huawei app. It's a community app where you can find lots and lots of things. Let's go to the start page. First of all, the start page is customized for your country. So what you get is like sometimes you get like before it even starts for the global rollout for everyone. If you are a Huawei customer, if you have a Huawei ID, you, you logged in, you get, for example, some discount options, just like where you can buy certain things for yeah, cheaper, just like headphones, like the FreeBuds Pro that I'm talking about, or the new, new Nova 9, or if the P50 Pocket comes out, you can buy it here, or what I'm eyeing is the Huawei MateBook 14 or 14S, I'm not sure which one to get right now, but uh, some other things, you can get even like uh, Huawei Music deal for free, something like the Huawei Watch GT and the mini speaker, and you can just get it now, 
uh, and see what, what it's all about. So very, very cool uh, feature indeed. But not only for this, if you want a new merch <laughs> on your stuff, you have the store here as well. We can directly buy it from Huawei itself. So you can uh, watch out for discounts here and uh, some things like that you probably on Amazon, eBay and uh, all the other uh, manufacturers don't get or the shops don't get. Like if I click on laptop here and I choose like, for example, I want to have the new MateBook 14S. Usually they have some discounts here as well. So if you go down here or you go to to buy, you will get some discounts as well. Just like, for example, you get uh, some freebies um, most of the time as well. Or you get discounted uh, uh, things as well that, that they yeah simply offer you, which is a nice deal, I think. Uh, as a shopping site but then you have the community tab and in the community tab you find yeah the Huawei community which is sometimes pretty awesome and pretty cool because you said find some interesting stories here in your local language most of the time so my local language is German so I find some German stuff someone was like uh, having a chronic of how he unpacked and used his Nova 9 story you can see like really really cool all in pictures as well and yeah lots and lots of work he put in here someone who was unpacking here the new huawei sound for example made a photo of it made a short article and you have also a linked video that you can watch if you want to you can discuss stuff in the comment section so ask questions about certain things can it do xyz and usually get uh, answers here you can like this one and you can share it uh, to various different uh, yeah, social medias as well or with your friends and of course you have options just like this guy here flashbox i'm following this guy so if i get like notifications when i have um when he creates new messages new 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 posts threads i can see comments that he did i can see who is following him i can directly message him if i want to which is also pretty cool I can say hi or something like this so this is a uh, real social media for users which is pretty cool and awesome so if you have some issue with your device something is not working right in your local language you have the possibility to ask for questions this might be different for each country so maybe in your country you don't have such a feature but most of the community uh, tabs are available in different countries I have some trending options here as well we can search of course of course uh, harmony s is a very trending thing here right now and you can search the products that come with Harmony OS or the threads that talk about Harmony OS or support threads uh, talking about Harmony OS and so on. You have photo gallery which allows us to see uh, pe what people were fo photographing with the P30 in this case or other devices. So this one was heavily into insects, this one more like into stars. Uh, so you can take a look at here, you can ask you questions, how did you do it and so on. So oh, this looks nice. And yeah, of course, you have the op opportunity also to take a look at them in zoomed stages, can download stuff, set it as your wallpaper or something like this. All possible. Very cool indeed. And uh, sometimes yeah, you find interesting things. Of course, here you can also take a look at uh, pinned things as well, videos and so on, uh, like the Nova 9 event, uh, launch event in, in Berlin. And then we have the support tab where you have your specific, specific device and your support. Sometimes very useful, especially in service centers, for example. I did not know where a service center here is and I know one day I have to replace maybe the back glass on the Mate 40 Pro. Camera back glass is, yeah, has a dent or it's, it's broken there. I can see, yeah, where's the, the, the next service center? That's a bit further away. Let's click on this. Uh, pretend I don't know where it is. Uh, I know the business hours here can click on this, open up its petal maps and it will directly go in there and tell me, yeah, where is it? Sh shows me the weather as well. Uh, tells me how far it is, like 37.2 kilometers. Takes about 40 minutes to go there. And I could go to Dusseldorf to replace it. Also pretty nice and awesome uh, to have such feature. And yeah, don't, don't Google this, just use this app. It's like pretty cool. And you also have like the option for live chatting here. So all service that Huawei provides here and you can use, you have some more settings. And sometimes you also now in Emotion i12, at least I have like the update button here, which allows us 
to search for updates. So if you go to the normal settings and you go to updates, system updates and software updates, sometimes it doesn't find any software updates. So what you can do is just go into your My Huawei app, uh, into the quick services. Um, under others, you have the update button and then use this update button because sometimes it will find the newest version uh, much earlier than the normal software update. It looks the same, but believe me, it works. It works. So this is pretty cool. And you can also schedule like repairs here if you want to. Um, you have smart diagnosis if you want to diagnose a system and so on, which is also pretty cool. And then you have your account itself where you can see like if I bought something from the store, um, uh, like how's it going with my orders and so on. It will lock me in and it will show me my orders. So as you can see here, I bought the uh, Huawei Nova 8i at one point and I sent it back because I didn't like it. Such things I can see here. I can see my address data. I can see like um, other things from the community that, that maybe someone posted to me. And of course I have some settings as well, just like for example, country and region, very important uh, to set it right, correct here. Uh, or if you have to set it to another region, you can do so as well. So this is uh, pretty interesting and awesome. So don't neglect the Huawei. Uh, my Huawei app because it's very powerful and has lots and lots of features that are pretty interesting as well. Enough of this one. Let's go to the left and here we come to the Huawei Assistant. By default, at least on most of those devices, I have Huawei Assistant here. I think some other devices like the P30 series, uh, if it updates to Emotion i12, might have the Google Assistant feed here, but you have here the Huawei Assistant. I have it here. Assistant. So what do we have here in terms of tips and tricks? So we have some quick toggles here. We have some moments that we can, of course, configure the way we like to. We have some services that we can just simply add. If you want to add them, like Radio FM, for example, if you want to listen to some radio or some Huawei features itself, like, for example, uh, schedules that I have here, health data, if I want to have health data, but battery and app usage data, very useful. So I have my headphones here, can click on it, see all the charges, the percentages of my, uh, even my, my charging box. Very, very interesting. I have some like advertisements if I want to have them, I can turn them off. Sports event, I can, um, yeah, configure those sports events. As you can see, it will show me everything here, but I can click on this, I can say what I really want. So what I really want is like football, Super League or something like this. I can choose which, uh, which, 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 uh, club I really want to have here, volleyball, even if I want to, NBA, uh, football, European Champions League, I think it is, or in Europe, I like to have German clubs here, uh, La Liga in Portugal, Europe League, I can choose which, which, uh, which uh, clubs to follow and so on, and uh, as the Bundesliga as well, so I can choose which, which clubs to follow. Uh, like those clubs I, I want to follow. And then when I have this configured, if I go back here, it will show me the sports events when the next game is, when it will start, and we will also list the uh, results here. If I want to see the results, I can see even more here, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm always on top with my newest uh, sport events. Then I have some weather information, events in general. So if I have some events here, I can just simply see them, which is cool. And I have some news as well, if I want to see them. The thing with news is like, um, what happens if I just read a news and then closed the phone, I had to go somewhere and forgot all it. The news has been closed. And uh, the feed usually, when you, when you are out of the feed and go into the feed, if it's long enough, it will simply refresh and you don't find the news anymore. So what you can do is just simply scroll up and then keep scrolling, keep swiping up to go upstairs, it says, and just let go. And then it will go into an upstairs option where you have quick access to some applications, but you can also see the latest or the last news that you read. So the last two, in this case, I've saved here, um, like something about the Australian Open. I can click on this, get to the news that I was reading last, which is pretty, pretty cool. As you can see here, it updates automatically. Uh, so. Pretty cool. I have like quick access to certain applications. Like if I want to access my Reddit, you can just click on it. It will go directly to Reddit. You can see someone answered me on some something here. 
someone unhappy that his P50 Pro is stuck on Android 10, even with Emotion i12 update or later Harmony S. Yeah, um, he doesn't get Harmony US or Emotion i12 so much, I think. Anyway, yeah, so this is the possibility that I have here with this uh, assistant today, which is also pretty cool. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much everything in terms of tips and tricks on Emotion i12. There's one little tip and trick uh, for you to check out the camera because there are some new modes inside here. One of the modes is I think called dual view, which allows you to have a dual view here, as you can see. And I can also uh, make myself a little bit smaller if I want to. So this is possible as well. Take a look at the camera app on Emotion i12. Also updated, has been updated, new features are arriving there as well and uh, this is pretty much everything for this video can i make this bigger i cannot make this bigger i can only do this here so that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye